We want to give you a heads up tonight from Shelby County leaders. Big changes are likely to come out of tomorrow in the next health directive that takes effect Saturday, and that could include fewer mass requirements and capacity restrictions. But even with more potential freedoms, business owners took the news differently. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders has the story all new at 5. Shelby County's COVID-19 case count is relatively stable the last 30 days and is meeting other indicators. That's why the Shelby County COVID-19 Joint Task Force confirmed the next health directive released Wednesday will include lifting further restrictions. That last health directive promised a shift in approaches from a mandatory approach to a approach more consistent with personal responsibility. That approach could include ending mass requirements in certain places, although the task force held off are confirming any specifics. Conditions on the ground could change and we all should always be prepared to make adjustments. I do think that we need to start taking steps forward, but I, I think that we need to be careful with how big those steps are. Nick Scott, who owns two Memphis restaurants, including Alchemy and Cooper Young, said even if customers are no longer forced to wear masks, he'll strongly recommend his staff keep theirs on. The safest course for us is just continue to wear a mask during service and, you know, while we're, while we're at the restaurant because we come into contact with so many people. Everybody is just, uh, you know, waiting to see what really happens. Mike Miller, who owns Patrick's Restaurant and is president of the Memphis Restaurant Association, said he's less concerned on whether certain mask mandates will be lifted and more concerned about ending the six-foot separation rule between groups. It's got to be distancing just from the simple fact that we all have limited square footage and uh, being able to use the square footage that we're paying for um, is, is the, the biggest deal. Local health experts said the next Shelby County Health Directive expected to further ease restrictions is in large part because of vaccinations, which have protected against more contagious variant strains that have emerged locally in recent weeks. Reporting at the FEMA vaccination site in Midtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.